It's dinner time. I was going to say the old farmhouse, but we're actually at Macau's house truck. And we have to thank Daryl Sixers for our dinner because it's fresh fish. We're not allowed to fish in New Zealand right now because of lockdown. Uh, so he got some fresh fish from a commercial fisherman. They're allowed to fish, but we're not. So that's what we're having. And I'll show you what's in here. It's a really nice wee dish I've made. We have it done on dill with cabbage. And we've got some tomato. Bring your bowl close here, bud. And there's about three eggs in there. Celery. Oops. Cauliflower. What else? Salt and pepper. The dill is really what you can smell. That cabbage has really come up nice. Is that enough for you, bud? No, no, have more, have more. Have more, mate, have heaps. It smells good. I've got some spices in there too. A little bit of chilli. Try that, bud. Wrap your laughing gear on that. Yeah, it'd be pretty hot. Thanks, Daryl. Yeah, thank you, Daryl, very much. So because Daryl's given us that fish, we're gonna fix him up with some junky jigs. How does it smell? How does it taste? Be hot. New recipe, I've tried out. It's got some different spices in there. It's got a little, a tiny little bit of chilli, mixed with dill, salt. Mmm, that's nice. Yeah, good. Do you want fish po? Not gonna happen, mate. No, not gonna happen. She's out on the loose right now because she's on heat and she's been boxed up quite a bit, so we're giving her freedom while we're around and when we're not here, we put her in the box. That way we have no accidents, eh, po? Hey, not like last time. Last time old Pace got into your cage and had a good good old time. Actually, you broke out the top, didn't you? And I come home and the two of you had been doing it. And now we've got puppies here. Yeah. She's in such good condition right now. That oil's really giving her a nice coat with the posse yum mixed up. Good girl. Take your ducky friend with you. You're not having my food. Where you go, Po? Where you go? Ducky, you can go too. Where you go? Go on. Where you go? See, Ducky's listening. You're not listening though, are you, Po? Where you go? That works good. Anyway, yeah, once again, thank you very much, Daryl, for providing us with fish. He gave us gurnard, snapper. He also gave us a goose. You have eaten goose? Yeah. We're going to cook up some goose. Goose is good. Yep, thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. Good bastard. And uh, welcome to the Good Bastard Club too, mate. <laughs> Beautiful day here in Tasman, blue skies. Looking from the house truck where Mikhail lives. Let's see if he made his bed this morning. Mate, what do I say about making your bed? Most important thing after you get up. What do you got to say about that? Hey, how you going? As a YouTuber, I'm always trying to find new ways to make uh, what you're seeing a little bit more exciting because pretty much most of what I do is pretty boring. Hey, Poe, that's where you're staying, mate, because we don't want any more pups, do we? Hey, here we slapper. That's right. Pace has already had a walk this morning and he isn't eating his biscuits. We're out of posse yum because lockdown we can't get it, so we're feeding him that stuff. He's not eating it though, are you? Probably because he's got something on the mind. Hey, calm down, calm down. That'll do. Right, stay. He's going to have his uh, second walk for the morning. Actually, third now. Stay. Stay. That'll do, Big Z. Calm down. Stay. There you go. <laughs> Got to be careful because males will fight when there's a bitch on heat. Okay, he's going back in there for now because he was going to fight. We'll let you guys out, eh? We'll let you out. Easy does it. Stay. Stay. Sound like something out of Star Wars. Stay. Your bowl needs cleaning too. It's green, so we'll just clean that out while we do it. Where you going? <laughs> Calm down, mate. Right, I'm going to let you out now. Behave yourself, all right? No scrapping. No scrapping. Stay. Stay. Big 
Đấy Quay kìa Những phần rét hay á Đấy Well, Bigsy having another dump. That's the second one in the heads this morning. Okay, there, Bigsy. He's not pooing very well on that uh, dry feed. Normally he has posse yum, but like I said, we can't get it, and he's struggling a bit. His guts not good. Keep an eye on that. Boy, man's constipated. Nothing happened there. Now this hill up here doesn't belong to me. It's my old landlord's place, my neighbour now. But I come up here every morning because it's just a wee bit of work on the legs. Get him behind. Get him behind. Pace. B. Get him behind. Get him behind. Good dogs. Heel up. Good dogs. Heel in. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Look at what the rabbits have done in here. Look at this. All dug up. Look at this. Rabbit poo. Rabbit holes. Heaps. So this dead tree here is all wattle. And Murray said I can have it for firewood. So we're going to tear into that with a chainsaw and get some firewood today because it's getting cold and it's usable. One thing about wattle is it burns very, very hot, almost too hot, and it can destroy your, your uh, wood burner. There's a bit of wood in there, so we'll sharpen the saw up today and we'll tear into that. Look how much it goes right back into there. Heaps of wood. That'll be a good, good start on that. Now, looking forward to getting some firewood and a hot fire going. Bloody good. Get them behind. Bigsy, get them behind. Good dog. They're learning well. Staying behind. Stay. Bigsy's a highly intelligent dog. Where is he? Somewhere down there. There he goes. <laughs> he's learnt very quick off the other dogs. The commands. He's watching Pace. Pace is waiting for the command to go. Bigsy, stay. He's a filthy manger. Rolls and rotten guts Still we call dog the man's best Ducks. friend Well she's no pedigree She likes to drink where people poo and wait Still we call dog the man's best friend He dropped the turd on mother's roses To father's garden hoses Still we call dog the man's best friend She came from the poor side of from the bloody pound From the bloody pound On sheep shit, he likes the munch Then he'll spew it up and eat it for lunch Beagle. Still we call dog the man's best friend He'll look his bum and clean himself Then come and kiss you on the mouth Still we call dog the man's best friend When he wants to come inside and you let him in You can guarantee that he'll want to go outside again Pace go, pick up If you invite your boss for tea Sure he'll try and hunt for me Still we call dog the man's best friend When you dress for town in your tidy drawers He'll jump up with his muddy paws Still we call dog the man's best friend Looks as guilty as sin when she takes a poo But you do her all in public in front of you Still we call dog the man's best friend But if you locked him in the boot of your car with your wife And went off and got drunk Who's gonna be the happiest to see you? Later on you get back and open the trunk. He'll stay loyal if you're rich or poor. Ugly as sin and you fart and snore and that's why we call dog man's best friend. That's why we call dog the man's best friend. That's why we call dog the man's best friend. Rabbit just ran off there. He lifted it and he 
left it when I told him leave it. It was just in the grass right there. Leave the rabbits. Good dogs. It was just down here. There's this little nest. It was sitting in here. Don't touch the rabbits. Leave it. This rope had got caught around the sheep's leg and you can see it's, it's cut the blood off so I'm just giving a bit of a massage. Don't get too close here Pace, you leave it. She didn't seem too worried. Oh yeah, that was not good was it mate? Yeah, you walk on her right. That's a bit better, I need to put a new rope on it. One's tied up and one's uh, not. They keep together, they're hairy creatures, they'll stay around each other because I got the fence turned off right now yeah that shit wasn't going anywhere what's that? you're being a guard dog hey? what's that? Hey? what's that? you're being a guard dog Mikhail has been down the shops and he's just got some food in his pack did you wash your hands after you did the shopping? just got back and... no outside the shop oh yeah hand sanitizer yeah okay so the drillers take your food put it inside Jump in the shower, throw all your clothes in the washing machine, and then put fresh clothes on, and then come up that way, we're all good, yeah? And the guard dog's doing a good job, isn't he? So, Mikhail has been here now for about two and a half weeks, and Bigsy still was guarding him. He's not sure, because you've got a pack on your back. Did you remember to get cream? I got milk. More cream. No worries. We have somebody else delivering food. Thank you very much. Welcome. Were you able to get berries? Yes. Happy days. This is Hillary, everybody. Hillary owns the Wakefield Homestead. She is the person that looked after me when I was very, very sick. Her sister is the nurse, Margaret. And watch out for Bruno behind you there. Get out of here, Bruno. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for getting Can that. Mussels. I mussels? I thought maybe I got them for you if you wanted them. Oh, you got some mussels? Mm. They'll the be. Fresh ones. Oh, real mussels? Mm. Are they in there as well? No, but I can get them. You want them. Okay, yeah, I love yeah. some mussels. Thank you. I used to buy these because they were local. I thought they were because it used to say, I think, lovingly packed from John and Sue, but now it says for John and Sue. So I don't know what that means. I think it means maybe it came from out of Nelson now. I like to buy always local if I can. So if anybody knows, are these local or not? Oh, here we go. We have an incredible journey since 1981 picking berries from our Nelson farm. We had a eureka moment by freezing our berries all New Zealanders could eat well any time. Back then it was considered a little crazy. Well, I guess they are from Nelson then. That's cool. I like buying local. Oh, but I read more and then it goes, but it proved to be seriously popular. So we got busy finding the best fruit grower partners all over the world to supply us. Why couldn't you just keep it local? Now it's the last time. It says product from Canada down here now. I'm just teaching Mikhail how to sharpen a chainsaw. I'll show you guys too, you probably know, but if you don't, I'll pop the phone down here and we'll, we'll tear into it, because it's something that uh, every bloke needs to know. So the first thing, mate, is you've got to loosen these hair off. I've already just done a little bit. And that's to adjust the chain. See how it's loose at the bottom there? Okay. I'm gonna get you to do this after I've done it. This screw here tightens it. See the chain going up here as I turn that? So it's clockwise to tighten. And you want it so it just is about you know, a little bit more, just touching the bar, just. It will actually go loose as it heats up. That looks, you know, we'll give it a fraction more because it does stretch a little bit. Once you've got that, you hold your bar up with that hand and then tighten it up there. We're going to sharpen it. So the key with sharpening anything is to maintain the same angle. These guides you can get, they've got an angle on them, okay? So with the teeth here, what you do is you find often with chains that you have two teeth that are the same. So if you're looking at the teeth, the shape of them, you've got your guide teeth, the one in the front, that one there, and you've got the actual cutting teeth. And sometimes with a chain you'll find two teeth going the same way. See they alternate each way? 
So what we're looking for is we're looking for two that are the same because we want to make a mark where we're starting to sharp, sharpen. I don't know if this one does actually. Uh, from memory, I think it does. My other chainsaw is the one that I've lent my new ones with Simon Fowler. Uh, this one here appears to not have two teeth running the same way. Keep on going. I thought it did. It must be the other. Oh no, there we go. There is there. See, we've got two teeth going the same way. Yeah, understand what I mean by that? You're talking about these the teeth here? No, they're the guides. Oh, these yeah. are the, these are the teeth. That's okay. the guide. That's the teeth. Do you see what you mean I'm going that way? Yeah. Yeah. See these these two on the same angle. Those two. Yeah. The rest alternate. Yeah. Look clear on that. Yeah. So what we'll do is using the guide, putting this into here, and so you got that 30 degrees angle. See that on the bar? Yeah. Okay. So this goes into there and it lines up with your bar, and you want to keep your strokes about the same. It's going to be, uh, we'll do three, one, two, three. This hasn't been done for a while, so I'm going to do double. Normally I do three, but it hasn't been touched up. One, two, three. And we're starting on where the, the doubles are there. Okay, there's the doubles. We're doing this side. So when we come to the doubles, we'll know that we're back to the beginning again, and so forth. So we we'll carry on with that. And after we've done, after we've done the whole lot, we're just going to test the guides, because you can also take the guides down with a flat file. Right now this is quite a new chain so they'll be okay for a while. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to give you a go after this is blunt and we've done some work with it to see how you go on that. These are the sort of things that happen during lockdown that you can't fix. Like we can't just get in the shop and get a new one. This is the uh, oil cap and it's just, you can see it's broken there. Just come off. And this here would normally lock that down. Normally it would turn clockwise and lock in but... Normally that would just turn clockwise and lock in, but she's broken. There's no way we can actually... Can't see how we can do that. Oh, now nah, she's, she's, she's stuffed. She's in bits. We'll, we'll try and see how we go with this. Maybe it stays on, I don't... Don't know, we'll see how we go. So we've got some uh, chaps, some earmuffs and some goggles. So this is wattle growing here, Mikhail. We're going to take it off and just cut it up so we can use it. Got this nice dry stuff you can use for kindling, start your fire. You can do that all by hand. And uh, I'm going to start tearing into the, the big stuff with the chainsaw now. So you can do that after it's on the ground. I'll chop some bits off here. So I'll show you how to start this chainsaw. So this is cold. It hasn't been going today. So we bring this lever here down to there, then we squeeze the trigger and the one at the top at the same time like that. So you put your hand on there and there. See that? So it's going What's on there. The top, one? top one, this one here. Okay. Hands going on there and the finger's squeezing the trigger there. And then we push that right down to there. Now put one foot on here, holding this piece securely and giving it a good a good pull. I'll try to make it so everyone can see it from the angle here. See where my foot is on there? Yep. One foot there, so you've got two points on the chainsaw, and then give that a pull. When you hear it fire, if it doesn't, you've got a wee pump on the side, you can give it a couple of pumps, pump fuel. I can feel it now starting to go through. You can feel it go, there you go. Hear that there? You hear the difference? It's starting to fire, so now you move to the second position. As soon as I went to second position, it was still revving quite fast. So I'll do that again. There was the choke, okay? I pulled it. It fired. I went to second position there. Again. Release. Second position is acceleration, okay? So you want to release it, otherwise it's, it's revving higher. Okay, I'll do it to work.
pretty heavy wood, isn't it? Sweet. I always have my camera rolling at the wrong time, I should have caught that. As you can see, we lost our oil cap just as I ran out of fuel somewhere in there, what's left of it. But uh, Macau, how many barrel loads you done so far, mate? Three? Yeah, about three up there. And we've got about another four or five there. Made a good hole in it. That'll be enough firewood to keep us uh, warm for probably a week. There's quite a bit there to, to break up. But I need to get another cap for this because uh, without oil, that bloody bar will heat up and break down very quickly. I got through it, but just lost it at the end, eh, mate? Hey. So, yeah, plenty of firewood to keep us going, which is uh, good. We'll take the rest later. We've got a lid for our, our oil feeder to the bar. Somebody was scared of the chainsaw, eh? The cow's got plenty of firewood for the house, truck, and I've got plenty the next couple of nights for me, plus more to come. Hello, Bruno. Plenty of dry wood for... Burning here, going to turn it the chain so when we can get a cap for it. Sun's just about down. That's from the Catlins. Stu Driver gave us that. And Hillary dropped this off. Look, five dollars. Oh, I'll call it six bucks. Five ninety nine for some fresh mussels. I do know a place where I can get them, but you can only get them at really low tide. And these are green lip mussels. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm just going to uh, heat this water up and stick them in that, and then have garlic and butter. I reckon we'll be eating some chicken soon, mate. Hey mate, we'd like to invite you over for dinner, if you're keen. You keen? Fuck off! Why did the chicken not cross the road? Why did the chicken not cross the road? Why did the chicken not cross the road? Because <laughs> of us. Because <laughs> of our dinner plans. <laughs> <laughs> it's a walk with a plastic handle, so I don't want to get too bloody close to the the outside of the handle because it'll melt. That should be sweet. Yeah, you're getting better with that knife, mate. Fix makes perfect. Right, put the muscles in. Okay, some of these look like they're already open. That's not a good sign. This guy should... Uh, no, he's not. He's not alive. He's already dead. Hungry? Yeah, a bit. Just a bit. Oh, well, there's not a big feed there, mate. Good. So today, Mikhail learned how to start a chainsaw and how to sharpen a chainsaw. I haven't actually let him loose on the chainsaw yet because he still needs to learn a lot more safety stuff but he's getting there and he got the chainsaw sharpening and, and it's not an easy thing to do but it's an important thing to know how to do for a bloke and yeah, a woman too for that matter. You know, provide yourself your own firewood, you need to know how to use a chainsaw. What else did you learn today mate, was that it? He's over by his house truck being antisocial. What's that? So, you, what did you learn today, mate? Oh, yeah, you learned how to play Sweet As Bro on the keyboard. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Did you forget that, yeah? Oh, yeah, okay. 
really, I think. Better put it all open. So each mussel's got a bit of garlic and a bit of butter, taken out of the shell. Only just cook them and the heat's gonna come up and that butter's gonna infuse with the garlic more and we're gonna eat them out of the shell. Should be pretty hot, try that. Good chomping. <laughs> nice eh? You eat mussels much at home? Um, last time I had them was Waitangi Day. Oh yeah? But, um, not often now, not that yeah. often. Do you like it with the garlic or not? Yeah, it's nice. Mm, bloody good. And they have food that's left over from Countdown and other places. And they have a lunch every Friday and it's free. Is this on Waiheke Island? Mm. What's it called? The Sustainability Centre. Oh yeah? And it's Waiheke Resources Trust. Yeah. And they get food that's left over and um, just pull it all together and you can go along and help out, help um, cook the lunch, help do the dishes afterwards. And yeah, you can just get a free feed. And it's really good. It's, there's so much that's left over from Countdown that would otherwise get wasted. Yeah, well, people waste a lot of stuff too sometimes, eh? Mm. Okay. I think I've had mussels there. Mm. I had this go once it's like snails and did it in butter and garlic. This reminds me of it. But mussels taste much nicer. Anyway, that was our vlog today on the farm. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck with uh, what's going on during lockdown for you guys, whatever you're doing. And who's ever in your bubble, other than some dogs, I've only got this guy in my bubble. <laughs> and uh, so far it's been going pretty good for us I've got to say we've had no major cock ups no accidents actually we had quite a few cock ups but no major accidents hey mm. mm -hmm. but nothing we can't handle thanks for watching smash the like button if you made it to the end so we know we're getting something right for you and we'll see you in the next one and uh, also be good if you can't be good then be careful. So yeah, these are good. These are really good. Mmm. Mm. That garlic from Stew Three, the number one good bastard. Here it, mate. For some more. Next time we do this, we'll invite Dolly the Wolf Prince and he can bring some power for us. Do you know who that is? Dolly Wolf Prince? Yeah. Yeah. Dolly the Wolf Prince is uh, some big mouldy guy that harvests all his own kai from the sea and land, like us. <laughs> but we harvested this from the supermarket and we didn't even harvest it, it was delivered. That's <laughs> one lockdown. Oh man, it's good. Mm. I'll let you prep the next ones, okay? I'll get the fire going. Sweet a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. Sweet, sweet as, as bro. bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as bro. Singing sweet as bro. Sweet as bro. Everywhere we go, it's sweet as bro.